All right, I'm going to walk you through the funds project assignment number two for Finance 481. All of the data and information that you're going to need should be available on Blackboard Learn. But I'm going to walk you through how we got the sample spreadsheet that's available on here. Yours should look exactly like it when we're done, except that it will be for your fund instead of for the general fund that we're doing as an example. You can use the data that's available under data for part two, or you can model yours exactly like the sample spreadsheet and just fill in your information with it. The forms for submitting the results are available, as well as everyone's results all aggregated onto a spreadsheet. The instructions are right below. And I'm just going to follow these as we do it. So I'm going to open up the sample spreadsheet. This is the sample spreadsheet that's available on Blackboard. We're going to be finding the excess returns, the beta, the sharp ratio, and the trainer ratio for your fund and for the market. So what we're going to need to do is we have the T-build yields, the SPY, which is the ETF for the market, and then your fund. I'm using AFAX, which is just the example fund. So the first thing we're going to need is excess returns. We should already have a rate of return for your fund from assignment one and for the SPY, which was given as part of the data for this project. The excess returns are the regular returns minus the risk-free rate for that time period. So you can see our formula is SPY minus the T-bill yield. So all you need to do is equals SPY rate of return minus the T-bill, the monthly rate at that month. So I hit enter and I can copy that down. And that's the excess return for the SPY. And then your fund is exactly the same equals your fund's return, subtract the T-bill yield for that same month. Hit enter, and you can copy that down all the way. And so now we have 60 months of excess returns for both the SPY and for your fund. So I'm going to delete this chart, and I'll show you exactly how we make it. If you just click at the top here, you can highlight the whole column and drag over to highlight both columns. Then you can do insert, scatter plot. And we want this first choice. It's called scatter with only markers. Now it's important to make sure that you have the SPY listed first and then your fund listed after that because that will put the SPY as your x-axis and your fund as the y-axis. And so you can see if you hover your mouse over here you can get a point that says 9% and 16%. So we can find that somewhere on here and we can tell which one is which. nine and sixteen percent right there so it's a nine percent return for the SP S&P and a sixteen percent return for your fund which we can see right here sixteen this is a fifteen percent line sixteen percent and then nine percent so that's what we have we have the SPY versus your fund now we're going to need to do the linear regression so we can find the line of best fit if you click on one of the points you can right click and it will open up this menu. We want to add trend line. Now we want to select a linear line. We want to display the equation and the R square value on the chart. Don't set your intercept because the intercept is going to tell us what the alpha value is for that fund. Hit close and then Excel will insert some data right here over the chart. We can just click and drag that over here and now we can see we have a linear regression line it shows the line of best fit and actually that slope is our beta so we can see right here y equals mx plus b so the m our slope is the beta of our fund so my fund is 1.03 so it's pretty close to the market the SPY by definition has a beta of 1 and then we have an alpha value it's actually negative very slightly almost 0 
but it, so it has a negative alpha, which means it doesn't return quite enough to make up for the risk that it takes on. So that's it for the, the beta. What we can do now is find the sharp and trainer ratios. So I'm going to scroll this down just a little bit, and we can do that up here. So we can have sharp, trainer, SPY, and then my fund is AFAX. Now the formula for the sharp ratio is the average return for that index minus the average return for the risk-free rate divided by its standard deviation. So we're also going to need average return and standard deviation and for the risk-free rate. So I'm going to fill in a table right here with the values that we need. We'll start with the SPY and we can just do the average return. So from the given data, we already have the average return for the S&P. So we can just reference that cell. We can say equals and go to the S&P, scroll all the way down, and the mean is available right there. Standard deviation is also available. as well as the sharp ratio. Now our fund, we should have found the average return from assignment one, and so that should be available also. Standard deviation, Now the sharp ratio is the average return for your fund. Maybe the average return for the risk-free rate. We don't actually need the standard deviation for the risk-free rate. That's not going to come up in this. So the sharp ratio will be your average return for your fund minus the risk-free average return. We can put those in parentheses. And then divide by the standard deviation for your fund. And the trainer ratio has the same numerator. It's the average return minus the average return for the risk-free. But now we're going to divide by the beta value, which is the slope of our re linear regression line. And I'm just going to type it in, 1.0391. So now we have a trainer and a sharp ratio. If we wanted to do the trainer ratio for the SPY, we could. And that's going to be the average return for that fund minus the risk-free rate. And the market has a defined beta of 1. So we don't even have to div divide by one if we don't want to. But that's it. Those are our answers. Now don't forget that we want to submit the answers on Blackboard under Form for Submitting Part 2 Results. It's a Google form, and once you do, you can open up the Results tab and see everybody's results that have been posted. So that's it. Hopefully this helps you out. Good luck, and thanks for watching.